How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Dymo wireless label writer with a Mac computer. Step by step, it's not that easy, so hopefully this will help somebody out there that was having trouble like I was. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up so other people can find it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already a member, and let's get into the tutorial. First things first, you're going to need to plug in your printer. This is obviously gonna be plugged into the wall. I think you guys know how to do that. And then it goes into the back, into that barrel connector. And then we're gonna turn the printer to the side, turn that power button on, it's gonna start blinking. You're gonna hear a noise. I'm gonna open up that guide right there. It will make some noise for a little bit and then I'm going to load some labels. I have some address labels here and whenever you load into a Dymo, you wanna make sure that the punches are all the way to the left. You follow that little roll indicator right there and press that on all the way tight so the labels cannot move at all. I'm gonna set this in here. The label print side is on the bottom the way these printers are designed. And I'm going to place the label all the way to the left and the printer should start to take it. I'm gonna move this feed guide about touching the label, close the printer and press this forward button to advance one single label. There you go. You can see that it came off track a little bit. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more to the left Anytime you need to make label adjustments, you press this lever, it takes pressure off of the labels so you can move them around and make slight adjustments like that. Now that the labels are installed, we're going to need to hook this bad boy up to Wi-Fi. There is a WPS button on the back. If you hold that button down and then release it, you should get a blinking Wi-Fi indicator on your printer. I'm going to go to my wireless router. I'm going to hit the WPS button on that. My indicator on this specific router is my power button blinks when WPS is activated. This is supposed to allow this printer to connect to the Wi-Fi. It looks like we got a solid connection right there. Maybe it's because I was so close to my router this time, but last time I installed this, I wasn't able to get the WPS button to work, so I'm going to show you how to do it manually by going inside the computer. And I will repeat, if you were able to get the WPS button to work on your printer and router, you got that solid light, you do not need to do this step. This is for having to manually connect the printer to the router. And I did have to do this the first time I set this printer up. I don't know why the WPS button worked at this time, but it didn't last time. So I'm gonna show you guys anyways. On your Mac, you're going to click the Wi-Fi icon up here and you're going to look for the Dymo letters and numbers that matches the SSID on the bottom of your printer. Your printer is emitting a wireless signal to allow your computer to connect to it. The network should allow you to connect, no problem. And then you're going to open up a browser and up here you're going to type in 192 0.168.58.1. That should bring you to this configuration page. And this is where your user admin password admin comes in and hit sign in. We're connecting to the administrator page on the printer. Hit next. We're going to hit DHCP, hit next. Uh, now it gives you a list of your available networks and you might have one or two networks depending on your router. One that the one that ends in 5G is the faster band. So we're going to connect to that and it will ask for your password. You type that in and come go down here, hit connect. And now the printer is manually connecting to our Wi-Fi. And it looks like it's successfully connected. Gave me another address to go to if we ever want to come to the web configuration again. We are now on the network. So I'm going to reconnect to my internet, which is Spearsy Town 5G, and we're going to go to dymo.com and download the Dymo software. Dymo label software 8.7.4 for Mac. I will put a link to this in the description to make it easier for everybody. And it is downloading down here. It is just finished. I'm gonna click on that to open it. I'm gonna double click on this package, continue. Continue, 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 agree, 
install, and then you're gonna have to type in your password or use your fingerprint if you have the fingerprint. This is Microsoft Office add-ins. I think this is so if you're wanting to quickly print labels from there, you can install this. I don't use that. I'm not going to install extra stuff that I'm not gonna use. Uh, it did take a couple minutes to install. We're gonna hit continue, hit close, move to trash. Then we're gonna go up here to the finder, type in Dymo and the top hit Dymo label, that is our software that we just installed. You can double click on that. Our printer has been put into standby mode because we haven't done anything with it in the couple of minutes we were installing that. And now the button is blinking, but I'm gonna try to send a print signal to it, which woke the printer up and still printed a test label. If for some reason your printer wouldn't wake up, just hit that power button, uh, get a solid power light, make sure your Wi-Fi is connected and it should be able to print. And I'm gonna change these address labels out to these two by seven shipping labels, do a test print to show you guys the two by seven option. Some people don't know about this. So I'm gonna show you guys the two by seven. I'm gonna change those labels to these two by seven shipping labels to show you guys one more test print. And this is what a two by seven shipping label looks like. I do have a video going through the uh, two by seven process. You do have to change some settings wherever you're trying to print two by seven from. And that's that's one of the good things about these narrow format printers is you can print two by seven USPS domestic shipping labels. And if you are interested in that, check out the link in the description in the corner, kind of going more into that. If for some reason your Wi-Fi signal is down and you need to print as a backup, you can plug in a micro USB, which is just a older, uh, it's an older phone charger. Android used a lot of micro USB back in the day. You can plug that into the back of the printer and say Wi-Fi is down, so I'm gonna disconnect from Wi-Fi. And because I have a Mac, I have to use this converter cable. So I'm gonna use this USB-C converter cable. I'm gonna plug that in right there. Uh, if you go file, and as soon as you plug this in, it is recognized in printers and scanners automatically installed as a Dymo label writer wireless, which is kind of confusing because it's no longer wireless. So I'm gonna rename this to wired just as a backup in case. Pull up the same shipping label. I'm going to pick the wired printer as the backup instead of the wireless. And it was able to send the signal through the wire in order to print as a backup, strictly as a backup, just so you know, if for whatever reason your Wi-Fi is down, you can do that. I did download the Dymo Connect software on the iPad, and for whatever reason, I, I cannot get it to work to save my life. Do you know anything about this, or if you have had a, a better experience with it, or you know what I'm, if you know anything about this, please let me know in the comment section, that would be great but the reviews, but based off of the reviews, it is a 1.7 star. It seems like a lot of people have iOS update issues. So maybe it's because of the iOS version I am running on the iPad, why it's not working, I really don't know. But if you know anything about it, please let me know in the comment section. That is how you set up this printer with a Mac. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. I really don't recommend you buying this printer. There are better alternatives to it. Um, even though it looks nice, I just feel like, I'm, I feel like Dymo is on its way out. There are just so many better options out there. Um, if you do have this, I hope this video is helpful. If you are looking at buying this, I, I would not recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.